Monday, 29th of October 2012. Uh, just uh, recapping on yesterday, 28th of October 2012, uh, that we had the um, 1835 Declaration of Independence Day at uh, Te Tihi Marae, Waitangi. And we had a gathering of uh, people uh, in the Confederation, the Maori government, and also the uh, Te Wananga or Aotearoa uh, student group that uh, had adults and uh, uh, students, uh, school students, in it. Uh, so I did a presentation there on this uh, document here, a title, uh, and uh, it is a new title for the Polynesian uh, Triangle uh, and the island of Mu uh, that's submerged in the olden days and is about to come back out again of the Pacific. So there'll be a big upheaval of power uh, when that happens. And so we're preparing for that uh, with this. Uh, it'll join up all the islands, Samoa, Tahiti, uh, Tonga, Rarotonga, all the Cook Islands, and um, New Zealand. Uh, so uh, I want to express to the uh, people in the Pacific, uh, including Hawaii, who are now um, banishing the federal state government um, corporate company crown off their lands uh, that they um, uh, own uh, this title that I put together yesterday at uh, Waitangi with the Maori uh, and Moai uh, Confederation of Chiefs. Um, it's signed now by the chief of the uh, tribe there, a Puhi ancestor, uh, who made a, uh, a um, commercial trading agreement with uh, King William IV, uh, the British uh, British UK government. So uh, that's the flag here uh, that he gave uh, for us to trade uh, through the well uh, and have free passage for our ships, trading ships, and also his protectorate black seal around the cross, red cross, and you'll see in the, uh, in the next picture uh, on this document of title, it's nine pages, uh, that we've, um, we've uh, put a presentation on to outline uh, the title and what it uh, amounts to as ownership uh, under the uh, British law uh, allows us to own this land, the resources, the water, uh, the fish, the, the everything in this area of the Moai Pacific Ring of Fire boundary area that we're claiming ahead of Christopher Columbus, uh, uh, James Cook and Abel Tasman. The white people had uh, come uh, in the early 1300s uh, and or right back even further but the island of Mu is our uh, ownership dated title to that land under the seabed, we're going to put these Maui platform bridges into the soil to claim that land before it comes out. All right, just to let you know. And the Maui statue you see here on the front page is our mana whenua that is buried deep into the ground on, on purpose to claim the title to God's earth. So that's God's face uh, as the Maui face. And um, the bottom... The middle is his body, and the bottom is his base, which is his ahu whenua, the land. Okay, so I just want to let you know uh, that we are claiming that commercially and putting value of a, a trillion, trillion pounds sterling uh, in gold currency and Maui water money currency value, Asian. That's after the bridge is built and we start making power, solid hydrogen jet fuel as our business operation between us, the Confederation of Chiefs of Aotearoa, and the British King. Uh, and now um, we are, we'll be authenticating this title and this flag and the Moai flag with our criminal barrister, lawyer, Charles Hirschfeld, he's one of our landowners on our blocks where we're putting the um, Maui Tidal Energy 
platform bridge in the middle of the ocean. He's part of, he's our owner, owner, one of our owners there too. Okay, just to let you know. And so we are, we are uh, going to use this instrument, legal title instrument, for our investors in um, Saudi Arabia. We're going to, I'm going to Ukraine to seal the deal for any amount using Maui as our security of investment title. He's sitting in London, uh, in Brussels, in New York, Washington. He's here in Auckland, uh, and South Island, and um, in uh, Chile. So he's all over the place in these very powerful countries. That is how we own it. My Wanoa people built them for me and my people, Pacific Polynesian people. Not for the white man, but he's them. So we're using our title there against them for stealing in front of God. He's God's face they stole. The Queen Victoria in 1868. 200 tons of them. He took them into her Queen Elizabeth II Great Court. That's my title. And King Itoro, Puhi, direct descendant. Uh, one. We only need one from him. So he has the commercial value of this title, flag, while it's there. And I have the spirit title of the Mana Whenua. Um, title. And it will be this flag, blood DNA, there, with my wife. And this belongs to the Vatican and King George. DNA blood. They don't own us. This flag here is ours. Okay? Just to let you know. And so, um, I just get the uh, lawyer to make it legal in his uh, practice to uh, use commercially. Right? After all, it's a commercial flag. So here we have the commercial flag, the Confederation, and Kingi. Uh, in the Confederation uh, of Chiefs. He's the Tomata, uh, last man on his feet at Waitangi. And so he is the owner of this flag, the Confederation, is the legal owner of this land in New Zealand. Okay? And so we, uh, while there's a black seal there of King William IV around this red cross to keep them out between us and him. So David Cameron, the Prime Minister, claims to be a direct blood descendant of King William IV. That makes it good for us, because we're now going to talk to him, go to England, Charles Hirschfeld, King Itaro, and myself, John Wano. We go to England to talk to David Cameron to renew, re reassert our flag jurisdiction of the King. Okay? So that means we have the same power as the British government over the Pope, over the Vatican, over the Queen, over the Rothschild banks, over the Illuminati, over the Zionists, over Israel. We have the same power as King William IV. All right? While he's away, we are out to. Uh, authorize our power. And Moai here is the spirit. This is the commercial. That's the spirit title of God. God's face. Authority. And that's God's DNA. Okay? Of Moai. And his son God Ra at the East Cape. Kipito. And we've got the four pointed star north east south west. And the obelisk that the Pope stole of our um, black Nubian African male uh, line to us we come from there we come from their DNA to Tahiti and the powerhouse of the pyramid here they made superconducting power and so we are doing that in our power generation here on these platform bridges as our economy uh, for the same thing here as um, as uh, the Nubians 
get. So that's their intelli- intelligence, right? Of of using the power of the crown, Moai crown. He only see it. The head is the crown. Right? That's why it's called Moai crown. So it's up to you've got two crowns now: the crown corporation and this crown, the real God's crown. Um, uh, um, contest in court with this affidavit. Twenty-one days for them to refute it becomes law after 21 days, this document with title, okay? It's a, it's a lien on their titles um, and um, everything on the land here right through the Pacific. Like I've been saying, the Hawaiian people uh, can use this title. You're quite welcome to use it because you own Moai and also this flag. We're going to use this flag and this flag. So Tahiti can use this flag here uh, for the for the uh, confederation of the Pacific uh, indigenous nations. Okay, that's our uh, spaceship. We are new. It'll follow the bridge platform. We're building these, and they will fly super fast. Okay, with our own engines. So that's uh, that page. And this one here. Um, <coughs> here we have the. Uh, uh, title, uh, the, the mana whenua, uh, grounded, they buried these on purpose into the soil and pointed them in the right direction to the stars and to the east where we are, uh, from Te Pito on East Island, that was its name, Te Pito or Te Henoa Island, yeah, to us at the East Cape, uh, Te Pito at the East Cape, North Island, New Zealand. So we are linked into this obelisk that's sitting in the wrong place in Rome, so they're thieves. The Pope stole that. The Queen stole the Moai, Moai, and put 200 tons and took it to England. Right? So two thieves, uh, the devil, uh, that are operating in front of God, our God. They stole our God. So we go and stand in front of our God on the land there that belongs to God. Okay? That, when they do that mischievous thing and take these things and put it on the land, it means we own it. Okay? Commercially. Under our flag jurisdiction. So they're really caught in that, that's uh, Giza. Giza, in, uh, I just tell these people in Giza, this is your title too. Okay, so uh, you claim it. Uh, you people are there, uh, Nubians, uh, Sudanese, and uh, everybody in Africa, the black male uh, uh, dominant race there, uh, can do the same thing as Hawaii is doing right now, kick the crown out, and their, their federal state governments and, and everything crown. Uh, and their money, kick it out. And we'll just go back. We are, we are using the Islam money, Arabs, and I'm waiting for the phone call tomorrow uh, to go to Ukraine and they'll get us going and we'll use these documents of title. Okay, so that's just explaining that. It's on my Facebook and Twitter and uh, YouTube and Google. You'll see all these things there. Here we have the uh, Moai um, statue in the Pacific Island Ring of Fire boundary area. Right? And so we have the hydrogen bowing planes that we're going to fill with solid hydrogen from this bridge. This is our economy that we're going to be running under this uh, confederation of indigenous people of the world. This DNA cross is our blood uh, ownership of each other, okay? And that includes other people who want to join that are not indigenous people. Uh, they are they are Manuhiri, they become as one. So Moai is for everybody in the world. So we are just establishing our roots, our origins on East Island, right here, where our Tikanga Moai law comes from, L-O-R-E, that's spiritual and pure in circle inside a square. Okay, so that's perfect. Uh, there, that belongs to here and the flag. So those are our title uh, to these boundary area of clay ahead of the white man. Right? These date them off the land. Okay? They can't claim anything in that space. They have 21 days to refute our indigenous Moai crown, in brackets, 
So it's a company. Just the same as the crown, in brackets, is a company. So this crown moai company versus the crown company uh, in, uh, in court, in international court. We're taking them to court, all right, with this instrument. It's a lien on their property, right, right the whole way through the earth, uh, world. Okay? And we're, we're claiming to have God on our side as his law, not their devil law of stealing our Moai and stealing our Obles sun god. Okay? So they've stolen two things. The queen stole the Moai, the pope stole the obelisk and put it on the top of their churches. You see that steeple on top of it? Yeah, well that comes from there. Not Egypt. It's come from Africa. There was no such thing as that, uh, Egypt. They put that together to fool the people. The same as marriage. There's no such thing as marriage. Well, it's the same thing again. We're only Tahitian people or Hawaiian or Rarotongans. Okay? As such, Fijian and Kugans. Okay? Tongans. So here's Moai. I'll just explain to you that um, the same as I did with the uh, uh, Tewananga Aotearoa students. I'll be coming to do a lecture on this with them in Mangari. Uh, when they ring me up, the organisers have uh, uh, told me they'll give me a call when I'm ready. So I'll run through this whole history. Again, it's going to flip it on its head. Uh, because of the date of Moai in our own Pacific area. So there's no history here of white man being there before this Moai and our people. This plaque here was put up by Helen Clark, another white person, alien, in the Labour government in uh, 2004 for the foreshore and seabed claim, right? She put that up and it says Maori from Rapanui. You see, so she's not Maori. And so... <coughs> she got the president of Chile, Ricardo Lagos, to put one of the Moais on a beach in La Bay, Wellington. You see? You see what they did? They tried to claim the whole seabed. Well, thank you very much. Moai belongs to us. Belongs to me. My Wanoa people built them for me. And my people. Right? My people. Tahitian people built them. With our own spirit, God. For us. Okay? We're supposed to share it with the people, not join steal it, and share it with their corporate companies. Okay? So, Dylan Clark, you're going on a stand right, to face the World Court to, for theft. Okay? So anyway, it's ours. That's what I'm saying. We're claiming that this instrument, that that's our title. Okay? And that's the title there, flag, and the Maui crown on its head. Right? A spaceship, and makemake, planet, the rock, Everything's carved in rock, solid, not on paper. We don't have Bibles. We only have rock, solid. Um, title. And there's our flag. Fine. Okay, so that's let you know the title. There's the pyramid. Okay. Pyramid. Powerhouse. In um, King Khufu. In uh, Nubia, Africa. Not Egypt. Nubia, Africa. Okay. So this is the new... Confederation uh, plaque up at Waitangi, Titi Marai, that we meant to put up. So we're going to lift this whole 1840 uh, obelisk out and throw it away and put this one up. Puhi. Uh, Confederation plaque to King William the Fourth. Play and our partner. He's our partner in trade and business, commercial and value. He puts value on our land. Water resources. So we own it with this flag. Okay? This is the Maui statue that the Pakeha stole in 1953 off East Island and stuck them up in Dunedin. Right? On, and, and that's where a lot of the Pakeha settle themselves in Dunedin. So it's ours. See the crown on his head? They made sure to put the crown one there with the, with the crown on his head. Mm -hmm. And this one here with no, no crown on his head. Right? So this, this just shows you our title. Right? We're the owners of these great uh, um, memorial um, stone. Right? There's King William the Fourth. I'll just tell you these, these things that I put a presentation on, just to show we we are still connected to the king 
while the king is absent. And who to know that Prince William will be King William V. And he came to New Zealand, but no mention of our flag. You see, the government did that. But we know that it's going to happen with us taking control of our flag. They are usurping it at Waitangi. We're going to, this removes it off their flagpole on Waitangi Marae and puts it back on Tiki Marae. Okay? They'll have nothing after that because without the flag, they can't have sailed here or can't use that jurisdiction of their documents of Admiralty Law or uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the, the laws they're using at the, at the present time, maritime law, for the sea. Right? So they'll no longer be there after we, we've enforced this at Waitangi, Asani, and the chief. And so we will remove their power because they don't own their flag, we do. There's my wife's statue in um, Queen Elizabeth's Great Court in London. You see, that belongs to me, my Italian people. And so we claim that. And this is the Confederation in 1986 before Geoffrey Palmer changed the Constitution from 1852 to 1986. That was illegal because it's fixed by King William IV into statute law in Westminster Parliament uh, extent forevermore. Okay, so they can't change. This is all the, the Queen and, and the Duke. We're going to bill charge debt of them for all their crimes and all their politicians here at the time of the seabed and right back to 1835. We're going to build them natural persons' names right back. Okay, just to let you know this lien document title is very powerful. And we're just making it legal through the lawyer, the barrister, the criminal barrister, so we can use it against the criminals. Okay? And I just mentioned that this is the world title of Moai. It lines up with the stars and with the points on the earth of the Giza pyramid, uh, with Mu Island, the head of the Mu Island off the east cape of North Island, New Zealand, where I'm from, and the Sun God Ra. So off the, the northeast coast, <coughs> is Mu Island head of all Tahiti, Hawaii, uh, Samoa, Tonga, Fiji, Rotonga, uh, and all the islands in New South Wales, Australia, that's all Maori land over, over there, sliced through there, the Aborigines there, and uh, all the way down through, uh, through the uh, uh, South, south uh, Pole area, Ross, Ross Sea and all that. So this title is the world title with the sun um, uh, times uh, in Ghana, uh, Africa, where my wife is, it's Linda Lee, uh, my wife, me, Linda, my wife. Um, so Ghana is 6 p.m. in the evening, and Tipito on the East Cape, where I'm from, is 6 a.m. in the morning. And on East Island, it's exactly midday, where the sun is right up the top, and the Milky Way is 180 degrees, spot on with the constellation stars. So all of that lines up the principle of the Earth operation of turning. Okay, so that there's no other place on Earth that can uh, line up that way where the Earth is controlled by these points. That's why they Pope picked up the obelisk and shifted it so that no one will recognise these points, you see? And the Queen took the Moai statue so that no one will recognize the truth. Okay, so this is the truth. This is the sovereign truth that I'm putting here of the world and all the offenders' names and their photos, you see? And none of them have refuted this title yet. And none of them have sued me. I'm still waiting for someone to sue me. Okay? So they won't do it because they don't like the truth. Okay? And um, so... Um, uh, that's our seal, the Maui seal, and that's the Queen's seal, the Supreme Court in London. And she's, her new title is Queen Elizabeth II Great Court, uh, Queen Elizabeth II, Supreme Governor of the Church of England, in brackets. Uh, that's her new title from Her Majesty the Queen in right in New Zealand, or Her Majesty the Queen in right. It's gone. Okay? She's changing her hat and her thieving ways into another devil beast. And the Pope 
owns her and her Church of England. His new company, corporate company, is called Queen Elizabeth II, in brackets, you see. And the Queen's new company is Buckingham Palace, in brackets, you see. No one bows to her anymore because she's a company director. And me, I'm a company director of my powerhouse group limited in London. Straight in the face of their companies, okay? And Natua Ewa Aotea is the title for the whole world. That's that one. Right? We registered it here in New Zealand. One off a trillion shares. My powerhouse is a billion shares. And every other country will make a billion shares in a power project. Okay, that's Maui Powerhouse, okay? You see how powerful this document's getting when we make it legal under our flags. Two flags, okay? Spiritual flag and commercial flag jurisdiction. So, 21 days they have to refute this. And Evelyn Rothschild, this is to you too. You have to refute this Crown claim. Maui Crown versus your Crown Corporation claim. If you don't, we're going to build debt charge you for everything you stole of us. Okay? The white man stole of us black people. Okay? And you brought all your white into us and made them all stupid. Okay? Maui's going to put it all right again. And this is a message to Puhi uh, descendants at Waitangi yesterday, to Timorai, the meeting we have present this document of title belongs to you. You claim it. You know what to do. The people of Rapanui and the people who just left uh, Waitangi to go to Rapanui. This is your title. I'm just putting through. Legally. For the first time, put the flag up. Okay. Put up both flags up. And the flag for the Confederation of Chiefs of the World is this flag. Okay, so people in Hawaii that are booting the federal state government and its loans, money, <coughs> control, this is your flag of Moa. Okay? And the black Nubians, they're both the same. They are us, we are them, you are us, in the Pacific, Polynesian Triangle, of Mu Island, under the sea. It's still there. It was out, it's gone down, it's going to come out. So we claim it when it's down there, we stick the legs of this big power project here, into the soil, in the sea. It's our title. I'm just telling you. The title was always there. Now Tupin has set it up. So that's all I want to say for now, and I will get this authenticated at 3 o'clock with Charles Hirschfeld, our uh, barrister, solicitor for the Moai um, Crown, brackets, company, corporation, Moai Crown, brackets, confederation. Okay? And also for my new Waitangi claim number uh, that we're putting through to the Crown Government in Wellington, it will be a more of an order to settle them. Okay? We're going to settle them, not settle us. Maui is going to settle them for the big bill. Everything added up with this lean title over the top of them. All right? We're going to identify them, pull them out one by one. Each person who's causing the injuries to our sovereign people here and in the world. Each one of you, one by one, okay? So, <coughs> uh, I'm putting on a, a, a presentation for the Te Wananga o Aotearoa people, students and parents that have joined at Mangari, uh, South Auckland, uh, as soon as they um, uh, want me to come out and go through this in its entirety. It's always going to be good to explain it, but I'm doing it on video here. So you know why I did this at Waitangi yesterday on our uh, special day. 
uh, annual celebrations of the 1835 Declaration of Independent Sovereign State Nation of Aotearoa New Zealand. So we do have, uh, have in common our flag uh, with the British in uh, business already. We're going to start our business all with our, uh, confeder- uh, our uh, project here with the Tidal Energy Bridge, uh, Moai Powerhouse. Um, so we're going to build this on the east cape of North Island, New Zealand, uh, about 20 to 50 k's out ahead of the Petrobras uh, oil uh, drilling. We want that out of the place. We don't want the Crown or any American ships or, or federal government state in our area drilling holes in the seabed. This will replace the power. This 1,000 megawatts, you know, only 200 metres long, 50 metres wide, and over 100 metres deep. The power of this is jet fuel, solid metal. Okay? And Moai, Moai is the powerhouse. Okay? That's his flag there, and that's his Pacific area of, of claim area right through the Polynesian Triangle. And the Pacific Ring of Fire boundary area. Right around. Okay? So that's what I, I wanted to tell you, why we, um, we are authenticating our title. And don't forget, you people, you crown people in the world, and uh, the Queen, the Pope, the Rothschilds, Evelyn Rothschild, oh no, the Rothschild banks, the Illuminatis, the Zionists, Israel Prime Minister Netanyahu, Obama, President of the United States, you, people, and anybody else, the Iwi of this country, the Maori Iwi, belongs to the Crown. Okay? Now make that quite clear. The Maori Iwi organizations here, the corporate companies of the Crown, they don't belong to the Hapu and our indigenous people. They are alien. Every one of the people who work for the Crown are alien. Right? They are settling. I warn all the people who are settling their claims, the treaty writing claims, are out. Now they're settled. Contract. Contract? They're settled. This contract is going to be for the people who come in and join the Moai Power House and the Moai Power, power Chair uh, right around the world. So you don't have to be a Maori to join. It can be any 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 religion, any 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 people, race, creed, can join us with Moai Confederation of the People of the World. Okay? So this is a people of the world title. Okay? Starting off from Moai. Okay? So you've got Moai, uh, God, God Almighty, and you've got the Queen and the Pope and the Rothschilds, the devil because they can't prove where they get their grace of God authority from. That's what the question you must ask them is where does the Queen get her grace of God, by the grace of God, authority from? Which God is she talking about? Okay. It can't be our one because that one belongs to us. Right. So she's borrowed a Moai statue and what for? Ask her why she stole it and what for? What's the reason behind stealing a Moai and putting him in, in the Queen Elizabeth's Great Court. Okay? And why did the Pope steal the obelisk in the middle of um, the Vatican City Square? Why did he steal it? What for? Yeah, so those are two questions facing Moai Crown. Right? This is real. Earth. Right? Earth to Earth. There's it's a metal crown on her head and a few robes and another crown on his head for the Pope. You see? The evil spirit. Okay? Just to warn you, we're coming after you with this instrument, legal instrument that's worth a trillion trillion pounds sterling in gold bullion. Moai, solid hydrogen, jet fuel, money currency. Okay? That's what it's worth. Thank you very much. We'll see you again soon. Bye for now.